In today's video, we are going to discuss what is self-compassion. If you have ever felt that you weren't good enough, didn't make enough money, feared making mistakes, felt like a failure in any way, or were critical of yourself, well, first, you are human, but more importantly, you probably weren't giving yourself much compassion. Aww. This video is actually part one of a three-part video series on self-compassion. This topic is so important to me, primarily because I need to practice this more, that I'm making three videos. The first video is titled, What is Self-Compassion? That's what you're watching now. In part two, I'm gonna go over why self-compassion is so important to have as a father. And then in the third video, I go over a few ways in which you can practice self-compassion. Let's jump into it. Hey guys, I'm Jason Kreidman with Dad University. Our mission is to help you achieve your full potential as a father. We have a pay what feels good membership that gives you access to all of my courses, videos, live broadcasts, and more. Hooray! Visit daduniversity.com and become a member. When we talk about having compassion, it's typically about having compassion for others. The definition of compassion is suffering together. We first notice that somebody is suffering and then we wanna help reduce or eliminate their suffering. So let me give you an example. Let's say your child falls off their bike and cuts their knee. They begin crying and are obviously in pain. When you have compassion, you are actually feeling that pain that they are going through. You can picture how much the cut knee hurts. You offer to help them up and see how you can help them. Likely you begin comforting them as you want to end their suffering. We may display compassion for our family, our friends, our coworkers, and our community. Or even when we see something happening on television or the internet. We can feel the pain ourselves and we have a desire to help stop that pain that someone is experiencing. You don't judge or criticize them. You can describe it as a warmth that we have for them and we wanna help them. It's not pity. You don't feel sorry for them. You are feeling a warmth for them. So what about compassion for ourselves? What is the definition of self-compassion? Well, according to Dr. Kristen Neff, who is an associate professor of educational psychology at the University of Texas at Austin and a leading expert on self-compassion. It's essentially the same thing as having compassion for others. The same feeling and actions you would have or take for someone else, you would do that instead for yourself. Dr. Neff has dedicated her life to the topic of self-compassion. Her website, self-compassion.org, has a lot of information, practices, and even a free self-compassion test. Do you remember I said in the beginning of this video that in order to have compassion for someone, you have to first recognize that the person is suffering. So for self-compassion, it's the same. You have to recognize first that you are suffering. Sure, this could be physical, but most often it's psychological or emotional suffering that we have. Now, instead of ignoring it, pitying or feeling sorry for yourself, you are asking yourself, how could I care and comfort myself at this moment? It's being kind and understanding with yourself rather than judgmental and critical. So now, full disclosure, I took the self-compassion test on Dr. Neff's website, and let's just say, I have a lot of work to do. My own realization was actually the motivation for doing this video series. I realized how little self-compassion I have and can see some of the difficulties that it's caused in my own life. Stress, anxiety, perfectionism, fear of failure, and more. Self-compassion is something that I am definitely committed to working on. Now be sure to check out part two and three of this self-compassion video series as I explore why it's so important for fathers to have self-compassion and then some things that you can do to practice self-compassion. And I would love to hear from you. Is self-compassion something that you're familiar with for yourself? Or is this something new that you need to work on as well? Leave your feedback in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with anyone you think might enjoy it. We'll see you next time.